Hey guys, it's Marcy here with Tim Parton from the Jim Brady Trio. Um, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Tim Parton. <laughs> and um, I live in Nashville. And I have been playing piano since I was eight years old. I uh, took lessons for a couple of years previous, uh, but that really doesn't count because I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, uh, when I was eight years old, my uh, my family let me start playing the piano for them. We had a family singing group. I'm from Kansas City originally. And so uh, I started playing for the family when I was eight. And then I just continued to play and progress. And then when I was 18, I left high school and went on the road. And I've been on the road since I was 18, which was back in 88, 1988, back in the 1900s. Um, so I've, I've been very blessed to, uh, to do what I love to do uh, and what God has blessed me to do, uh, and that's being playing the piano. And then um, last year I got a call from Jim Brady to uh, come and sing with, the, with him, he and his wife. So now I am um, singing, and, and actually the past few, uh, two or three years, I have been um, singing some with uh, various groups, filling in, and um, so the Lord was obviously preparing me for uh, the vocal part of my ministry. I, in fact, even recorded a project called um, Finding My Voice, and it has uh, several songs on there that I, that I sing, a solo project. Uh, there wasn't a lot of demand for that project, but I just wanted, there were songs that I wanted to sing. And so, um, so that's when I, I kind of just branched out with my, my vocal uh, talent and God opened the door uh, as he has been faithful to do uh, with my, uh, with, with this opportunity with Jim Brady. So. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stage? You know, I don't often have I've had people ask me that before. The um, I would say recently uh, it was this was kind of something that wasn't so embarrassing to me as it was to Jim, but I was a part of it. We were over in uh, Norway, and uh, I Jim was introducing this song. I, I forget what it was. I think it was uh, had it not been. I, I gave him a, a, the key for that song, but then uh, he started singing another song uh, just because he was thinking of this other song. Uh, uh, Who Am I, I think, is what he was he went in to sing, which are both written by the same writer. So he had you know, those songs going in his mind since he's a songwriter. He does that a lot. But um, so he looked at me, uh, in fact, and he started singing in another key that, because it was just not... It, what, what, what the key that I was that I was in wasn't going to be good for him to sing who am I in so he just starts singing in another key and he, he just stops all of a sudden and looks at me and says uh, you're not in the right key and I said you're not in the right song <laughs> <laughs> so the best thing to do when you're in an embarrassing situation like that is try to turn it around <laughs> and make it where it's their fault because they always say it's the piano player's fault I disagree. So. <laughs> but um, fortunately, I haven't had too many embarrassing moments. Um, we just recently we, we sang, um, and our tracks would not work, and we were with the Collingsworth family and Gordon Moat, so we had a, like 1,200 people down in Texas, and um, we couldn't get the tracks to work. And I mean, that's we, they worked during sound check, and so you know, there's nothing to do but just roll with it, you know, and so I just ran over to the piano and started playing, and fortunately, you know, I, I, I can do that, and um, so the best thing to do is not to let the people know that you've um, you know, had this major guffaw, and uh, uh, just make it look like that's what they planned, and I uh, had so many people say we lo that they loved it, you know, uh, Jim was of course making apologies for things going wrong, but uh, just let God is good at <laughs> using our mistakes for His glory. So. What do you like doing in your free time? My free time, I love to uh, ride my bike. I live downtown Nashville, and so um, I like to um, just get on my bike and ride around downtown. Um, I love to be outdoors. I love to uh, go out to eat. Um, 
I, music is, plays a big part in about everything I do. Um, I love outdoor concerts, uh, uh, live concerts. Um, I, anything that has to do with exploring the city. I'm, I'm, I love being in, in Nashville. It's a cool, cool city. What's your favorite song to play? Favorite song? Oh wow! Well, I've been playing the uh, "In My Heart There Rings" a melody. As far as a solo, uh, I played that song for so long now. In fact, I need to work on some new solos. But, but I just have a great time playing that song. Um, I would. Um, I'll tell you another thing is uh, we do this thing where during our programs where uh, I will take re requests. People will give like five or six of their favorite hymns. And um, hymns, I guess, collectively are my favorite song, my favorite genre, uh, because of course I grew up in church, and, and it's, a, it's a great. Uh, every once in a while, they'll holler out one that um, I haven't played in, in forever. But for the most part, they'll call out like "How Great Thou Art," "Amazing Grace," "Old Rugged Cross," uh, "Victory in Jesus," "Blessed Assurance," "It Is Well with My Soul." You know, there's like about a dozen that are your standards that they, they love to hear, and uh, those are those are my favorites. Those are the ones that uh, the ones that people love. Do you have a favorite place to visit? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, Mackinac Island in Michigan. Um, it's a little island you have to take a ferry over to it we're going to be there um, singing with uh, legacy five legacy five. every year they have a, a big event there's a big hotel called the grand hotel um, and it's the i think it's like three miles around the island and i was first introduced to that when i when i was with the spear family and um, brock spear i uh, loved to run around the island so we would go up there and um it was just, it's just they don't allow cars on the island, uh, so it's just horse-drawn carriages and bicycles. Um, so it's just a really like going back in time, um, and uh, they have a lot of fudge too. <laughs> I'm partial to fudge. <laughs> <laughs> what is one of your favorite things? I love uh, Italian food, uh, really good like um, homemade Italian food. Um, I, I like places like Olive Garden, but. Um, Overall, if it's good, like a lasagna, a good home baked, baked uh, and salad, and I love uh, the Italian dessert tiramisu. It's, it's kind of chocolate and coffee flavors. If you get a meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Meal with past or present. Oh my goodness! Um, there's so many people. I. Um, you know, in different like, in, there's some there's people in music, and there's people in, in uh, like religious leaders or Jesus that it would be phenomenal. That would be, uh, you know, so so amazing just to. Um, and and I, I think I will go with Jesus. And I don't want to. I don't mean to sound you know, over spiritual, although I can, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian and I don't I don't uh, deny that. But I think it would be fun to um, eat with Jesus because it would be neat to see who else would be there. Um, because I'm sure I wouldn't be the only one invited to that party. Um, but I love, I love the fact that Jesus ate with sinners. And um, sometimes we get, our, um, we, we choose to uh, associate with, um, you know, the, the Christians. And, you know, we, we leave out the, the homeless. We leave out the people who are um, less, uh, what we consider to be, lesser people um, and again the, the sinners those I, I, I don't think I would be surprised who would be at the table because uh, like I say the Bible talks about um, Jesus eating with sinners so um, but I think that'd be my, my choice it's a good is, question who is your biblical hero and why I would say Jesus is my biblical hero that's uh, again because of what of the example, and and not so much because of you know his miracles, um, but because he loved people, and um, I want to in, in our business as we call it this industry, uh, um, the ministry that God has given us uh, as gospel singers. You know, I, I love people. I am I'm kind of a shy person, honestly. Um, maybe that I, I just don't. Um, I, I can talk to people, I can talk to strangers, um, just, I don't know, I'm not making a lot of sense there, but uh, 
I would say uh, because Jesus loved people, uh, he would be my he would be my hero. <laughs> Can you concentrate better now that you left the orange juice factory? Lord, that's so <laughs> bad. That's so bad. I have trouble concentrating. Um, that is funny that you bring that up. My goodness, I haven't heard that in ages. But um, no, I still have difficulty concentrating. <laughs> That's fun. Thanks a lot. That was sweet. <laughs>